All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the Mass Effect 2 series with the Vanguard character. I'm gonna import it from Mass Effect 1, so um, we just hit new game and that's how we're gonna do it. You can make a new character if you want, but um, I'm choosing to import the character. So, here we go. So, of course, you get to pick your options and all that. I just leave them alone. I'm just a casual player. I don't... I don't play hardcore or any of that bullshit. I, I don't do that. So, here's everything about the character. Um, you know, I follow the renegade path. Status of Rex, he survived Vermeer. Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer. The council was killed. And I put Ambassador Udina on the seat. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're yeah. sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Why is it? Are they? It's up to us to stop them. If you noticed, they gave Miranda a camel toe. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating death attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control on the galaxy. I can't read fast enough to read this for you, so you're going to have to pause and read it for yourself. So... Here we go, the SR-1 Normandy. Or Normandy SR-1. That's how you say it. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh, shit! Presley! Oh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Run, Liara, run! Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Ah! I'm 
not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving. Get to the damn shuttle! I'll haul Joker's triple ass out of here. Shepard! Get the hell out of here! Yeah, goddammit! Everybody in! Go, go, go! Oh! Damn, the Normandy's all fucked up! Oh! Oh, I know what I was doing. I was trying to use, um... I was trying to use mouse and keyboard for this game, and for some damn reason, I don't know why, but for some goddamn reason, I don't know why I can't use my mouse and keyboard in this game. So I had to use gamepad. I should have cut this out and I don't know why I didn't, but fuck it. See, and there I was turning on my... Mayday! Mayday! This is SSV Normandy! There I was turning on my gamepad, so... And then again, I try to figure out, oh shit, what if I don't have the setup right? I don't know. But there's the key bindings, and they're right. I don't know why they're not working like they should, but... <laughs> I was just t testing to see um, if everything worked, but yeah, according to this, it did, so... But again, it, it's not working, so I had to put my um, gamepad back on. This one I'd rather play with gamepad anyway, because you have to actually go into cover. But I mean, this is impressive, the graphics for this game. And I am running it at 30 FPS, I'm not running it at 60. Look, you just shoved the seats out of the way. <laughs> Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Okay, I call it bullshit on this because Joker's Brolic Syndrome in the first game was all in his legs. Oh shit!
Oh shit. Shepard died. Uh oh. But for 30 FPS, this does not look bad. Of course, this is what it ran on in the 360 version, so. I thought about doing the Genesis, but I'm like, fuck it. I'm not going to do it, so. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Well. Oh shit, now they're doing all, um, reviving. What's that? Is it Terminator? That they did the gentleman. He can be, we can rebuild him. So of course I'm going to be a vanguard. And I take barrier for my, um, for my extra power. stimuli showing an awareness of his surroundings oh my god Miranda I think he's waking up damn it Wilson he's not ready yet give him the sedative Shepard don't try to move just lie still try to stay calm heart rate's still climbing brain activity is off the charts <sighs> steps pushing into the red zone it's not working another dog now <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Okay, as you can see, the gunplay is a little different in the first game. You actually have to take cover. You want to uh, shoot the mechs in the head here so they explode. Now 
And there's my powers. Assistance. Boom! See? And then we did damage to that other hack mech. Boom! Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. Okay, and so I try to um map my power. Which I end up mapping um barrier to uh left bumper. You actually have to watch for ammo, too, in this game. Your thermal clips, you run out, you're out of ammo. You know? More reinforcements heading your way. Grab the grenade launcher off the secure... Here come the mechs. Use the grenade... They've seen us. Take the elevator down one floor. See, you get to sprint in this game, too. And you actually need to use it a lot. Right? I know that feeling. <laughs> Lock updates. Out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure Maybe, you never know. You're done. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Look, pal, I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Damn right. You have to use pull to move on. This is to get you to use the powers. Falling back. There we go. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. 
We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Okay. that so why is that so why is that so um why is that so satisfying shooting people in the head in this game I, I don't know why I really don't know why We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? Right? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. <clears throat> Overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Oh, shit! You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. We've been spotted. And that's just so satisfying, shooting them in the head. It really is. It's just so satisfying. It's just so satisfying, man.
There we go. I should have used the grenade launcher there, but this just leads into a big circle. Um, didn't know that. I've always skipped this, but um, I thought, oh, there might be an item or something down that ramp, but nope, there isn't. Um, in the door, I think it's just ammo. Oh, and a safe and a data pad. Okay. Okay, this is different. You don't have to do that uh, maze thing like we did in the first game. You just match the pictures and that's how you um, bypass. I like this a lot better than Mass Effect 1's. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Oh! Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Right? The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, I don't know why I did this. 
to check the armor, but... You could change the material if you want, but... And I think I did, actually. I think I did, actually, change the material. But here's the thing, you don't buy armor in this game. You still buy weapons, but you don't buy armor in this game anymore. Which, uh, that's a welcome sight. I hated having to buy weapons and armor and see what was better and all that like in the first game. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hell yeah, I'd love to be the elusive man in real life. I really would. Okay, so he, they changed the um, talent system. You get to evolve your powers, which is really cool. Um, always start with your class. Always start with your class. I end up becoming a Vanguard champion. <laughs> the elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Don't worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Jacob, for some reason, blends in. The elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Okay. So, because we imported a character from the first Mass Effect, we get import bonuses. We get a lot of bonuses, actually. You get a lot of money to start with. You get a lot of resources to start with. Um, so it's always a good idea to play through all three games. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? 
We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Damn right. Okay, so now you get a full arsenal from Cerberus, and I don't know why they don't give it to you before Looks you come like here. Got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Okay, so I was just looking to see if there were any hidden items or credits or anything, so always important to do. Oh, there's Max. Strange. Security systems were disabled at the end Attention right! He goes! Stun them! Shoot them before they get out the shield! Oh, did Jacob die in this? He did go down in this. I didn't notice that. Wow, he did go down. I didn't notice that. Wow. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do their talent points either. So no wonder why Jacob's having trouble. chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and uh, nervous around. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Damn right. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. I see you, Shepard. I've got 
Okay, get me a wall safe here. Use overload on See, I get a little cocky and I didn't... We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. See, I was getting cocky and I wasn't in cover. That is a big mistake. You have to take cover in this game. You will get destroyed if you do not take cover in this game. Get to veto first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. This is just to teach you to position your squad mates. Get over there, Jacob. Shepard, we'll cover the door. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. I about died here because again I was out of position I should have backed off and found more cover but I didn't so this is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd he's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay okay and I'm just checking around for more items and stuff this looks interesting. We'll take that ha heavy ammo, weapon ammo upgrade. We deal with that later. And if you screw that up, you don't get a second chance. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Yeah, damn it. 
Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Yeah. That's about the size of it. Now, I like this mechanic right here. You, that's how you do your renegade and paragon actions. You're not one of them. You're human. They, they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please... Just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. The people at Cerberus won't hurt him, Tally. You have my word. But we need that information, and it's clear the Quarians don't want to share. Damn it, Shepard! I trusted you! Well, you should have went with me, we asshole. But we have to find out all we can about the Collectors. What? No! I don't understand! We need a pickup. Have a medbay standing by. Good luck, Shepard. I hope what you get from Vitor is worth it. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. Unfortunately, the Quarian you brought back didn't give us any useful information. He's too far gone. He'll be returned to the Migrant Fleet. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity right. plays a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. 
What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? True. What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The collectors are definitely a human enemy, but how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Damn right. Look at this. We'll have to give her a name. This would be so cool to fly around space in the Normandy like this. But the SR2, you'll see in a minute why I like the SR2 better than the SR1.
Okay. I this is the thing I didn't like about doing missions. You always get the summary screen, and I I, I don't like that. I think it's crazy that they do that. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard, unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Alright, well that looks like to be the end of the video here. It just shows us where um, everything is here. Okay, and that's going to be the end of this video, so hope you all had fun, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.